Good afternoon, everyone. This is Saro Arakini, as your clinical pharmacist. So I get a lot of questions on OTC, over-the-counter medications that could be used to uh, reduce your cholesterol levels instead of taking regular medications. Some of the patients experience side effects from their medications, uh, prescribed medications, um, and uh, they're seeking for over-the-counter options for this lipidemia. So I want to list a few of them over here for you um, to know. Most of you guys are familiar with this, but again, I want to list the names so you're familiar with these over-the-counter options. Niacin, vitamin B3, which lowers the LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, um, also increases the HDL levels. Omega-3 fatty acids, which reduce the triglycerides, especially if they are um, high uh, in, um, um, the, in the oil, uh, in the fatty acid levels. Red yeast rice, uh, which is an ancient uh, natural product that has been used in China and other countries. Uh, soluble fiber uh, may lower the cholesterol levels, uh, including oat, psyllium, pectin, or gore gum. Uh, green tea or green tea extract, which again can reduce the LDL cholesterol, uh, but also also may cause nausea, vomiting, gas, or diarrhea for some of the patients. Uh, and also plant sterols and um, stanols and sterols, uh, which reduces the cholesterol levels, especially in people with familiar hypercholesterolemia. Again, these six options, including niacin, omega-3 fatty acids, red yeast rice, soluble fibers, green tea extract, and uh, plant stanols and sterols. Uh, for more detailed information on any of these, make sure to comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel, but definitely comment on the video uh, with your questions, and I'll be happy to explain more in details about the specific um, uh, number of these medications that you have questions on. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, stay safe and take your medications.